Hello beautiful Aries, nice to see you here. This is going to be your new moon reading for June 20th. There's a lot of kind of awesome astrological energies going on here. I mean, you know, some of them awesome, some of them maybe not so awesome, but um, they all have a purpose. So uh, we're going to be looking at your new moon, which is the new moon in Cancer during the summer sol solstice, as well as the solar eclipse. Mercury just went into retrograde. There's like four other planets in retrograde right now. And a lot of it's going on in the sign of Cancer, which is very emotional. And um, yeah, so that's going to happen. But you're here and you want to know what's going to happen for you. All right. So, whoa, sorry. I have a new tripod and it's attached to the table now and it's kind of a crappy table so I'm sorry if it moves a bunch um but yeah my old one's into garbage all right Aries what is Aries no oh we're gonna do nine cards sorry um if you're new to my channel my name is Melissa I don't know if I went through all that already or not but hi nice to meet you if you're new here and welcome back if you're not all right nine cards we're going to do three cards for just the overall energy of what's going on around you and then we're going to do three cards for intention for the new moon because the new moon is about planting those seeds of intention for the next cycle but it's also the end of the previous cycle so some things may come up that need to be released from the last cycle okay so uh three cards for intention and then we're going to do three more cards get even more specific with some advice all right let's get going we're already a minute and a half into this i'm so sorry guys you probably fast forwarded through all that already or you're not here anymore but if you are thanks all right three cards for overall energy for no overall energy for aries that one came out a lot of cards and they kind of went everywhere okay we did have one that stayed on the table we're taking that one all right i really like kind of getting the energy that might be all over the place right now okay aries all right aries overall energy for aries around this new moon please all right let's get that first card open here all right we have the queen of pentacles the five of cups and the nine of wands the nine of wands keeps coming up guys I do have to tell you that energy of kind of like taking a step back and um, being more in observation mode in that final stretch of things, um, that's been coming up a lot for a lot of people and that really could be with the Mercury retrograde, uh, you know, taking that time to really not really do anything because, you know, Mercury retrograde is known for kind of interrupting technology and communication and, and that kind of stuff um so a lot of people kind of take a step back and wait for that to pass before they do important things like sign legal documents or um allow their ex back into their life so uh i really kind of feel like you might be pretty affected by this whole retrograde thing okay so we have the five of cups which is really like not you're focusing on the loss when you still have gains okay but we also have this queen of pentacles here who is very, um, you know, uh, practical minded, really looking at the situation for what it is. Okay, so you have that really next to this energy of like not really looking at what really is and more focused on what you're losing than what you have to gain from the situation. Uh, so I, I really am getting kind of like you're kind of stuck, like you're feeling kind of this practical energy coming through, you know, where you you want to be the, the the queen of pentacles. You want to have that objective um, quality about you, but uh, also with that, you know, kind of focus on that femininity as well but we are going into the summer solstice we are going to have more of that mas masculine energy start to come up with the sun being out longer during the day at least in the u.s and uh uh whatever hemisphere or whatever it is uh we're we're, we're gonna see longer days we're gonna have more of that sunshine um kind of um like what is the word? Like I can see it in my head, like it's infiltrating, but that's not the word I was looking for. It was more of a graceful word than penetrating into integra integrating. I think that was the word. Um, that masculine kind of quality is going to be integrating. And I feel like that's kind of where you're feeling a little, uh, not really stuck, but you, you just don't want to move forward right now because you're, you're really 
you're feeling this energy of loss, um, but you still want to kind of like be very hearth and home. You, you, you want to kind of take charge of, it's not really a battle of head and heart as it is like your practicality, like logic and at heart, but not in the thinking mind in the more in the like doing, I guess. Um, you, 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 you really want to focus on that, but you're too busy focusing on loss and feeling emotionally drained, um, which, you know, that's kind of how things are going to be for a little bit. This, things are just kind of crazy. And with all of the planetary um, weirdness going on, this is where you're at. You're just kind of at a standstill. You don't, you just, you just don't know where to go. You don't know what to do. You don't know which thing to deal with first. Okay. So I feel like that's kind of like your overall energy right now. Let's get some intentions. What intentions can Aries be? Aries? Yes, Aries. I have to remind myself. What intentions can Aries be setting for this new moon? Okay. All oh, that came out for somebody else too. Who was that? Okay. I'm going to actually pause it this time because they're like buried under the table. Oh. <laughs> Got them out from underneath the table. My goodness. All right. Did have that justice card pop up. All right. Intentions for Aries for the new moon, please. All right. Ooh, okay. 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 All right. So, okay justice card okay we're you're wanting things to be more fair and balanced you're 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 kind of feeling like like especially with this like something just doesn't didn't seem fair so i feel like we need to release that that was in the last cycle whatever that was that you're, you're not sure where to put your energy right now so you're just kind of not putting your energy in anything i feel like that's really uh, indicating that we need to start releasing some things from the last cycle okay some loss maybe that happened in the last cycle um it's t time to kind of like move forward and start seeking that balance and and some fairness so we also have this five of swords here which is about like defeat um so i feel like you know the five of swords right below the five of cups okay that that Again, this is kind of, you know, this is defeated too. This is emotionally defeated. And this is like intellectually defeated. Like, you know, somebody got the best of you. Um, not in a, like, I, I give you the best of me kind of. Not like that, but like somebody bested you. Somebody like got you good. Okay. Like got you right here where, you know, like you, you feel defeated in a lot of ways. Um, fives generally... Uh, for me, fives generally are an indicator of change or conflict or change resulting from conflict. So I kind of feel like that's where your energies are kind of lining up from last cycle to this cycle is there's definitely been some, um, some challenges, some conflicts that you really want some fairness from. Um, but I feel like it's about focusing on you with this hermit card. It's taking time away from whatever conflict was, um, in your life, uh, it, in order to kind of get that fairness and that balance back. It's really, really going to be, um, it's really going to be more soul searching for you. It's, uh, the hermit is the one who um, kind of like goes and lives in a cave, whoa, goes in a cave with the goal to find enlightenment kind of situation. Um, I feel like you're, you're, you're not doing that. You're, you're not taking the time that's necessary to heal from whatever. Um, I feel like there was something kind of maybe traumatic that happened and, and, you know, that resulted in a loss and a feeling of defeat. Um, but as f far as intentions, you, you want that fairness. So when you're, you're putting out an intention, especially during a new moon, which is when is the best time to do it, um, as I previously stated, uh, it's, it's really um, important to uh, phrase it in a positive way. Like you don't want to be like, well, I don't want this and this sucks and like, don't show me this stuff. And 
you want to really phrase it in the um, one in the present tense and two in a positive aspect of it so you know like I I am focusing on myself and um, working on aligning myself with fairness and balance and um, defeating my own demons okay something along those lines okay uh, as far as intentions go like it, right now I don't know where I left off but the kids tried to call and it cut me off so normally I can like swipe away the call but it wouldn't let me all right so I don't know where I left off or where it cut me off but we were talking about the intention um, of really focusing it in a positive light and in the present tense so I am focusing on myself um, and seeing things that are fair and balanced uh, and you know, taking charge of my own uh, destiny or, or however I phrased it to begin with there. Um, so I, I really feel like that's that's the best intentions right now is to really kind of, you know, work on your own growth and focusing on yourself as well. Um, because I feel like you don't feel like you were dealt a very good hand um, recently and it's time to kind of, in order to release that, you really need to like bring it into self and how you will move forward from here and we will get some advice cards that will hopefully help with that. Okay, let's get some advice for Aries, please. We have the Four of Wands, the Star, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, I'm liking this energy. I'm liking this energy for you. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands here, which is um, stability and, and celebration here. Um, it kind of looks like a wedding, you know, like we have the stability of four legs, you know, like uh, a, a stable foundation. Um, we have the star card uh, with hope here and then the queen of swords, which is um, a balanced, going back to balance here, a balanced queen of swords is um, like a, a, a wordsmith. She's um, a very well-spoken, um, but she doesn't take crap and um, she'll tell you how it is but she does it from uh you know that feminine energy of maternal energy you know what i mean so um i feel like this the advice here is to really focus on that stability that you want and having hope for it you know having looking toward the north star um to bring you you know that hope you know, the 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 what is peter there's like a peter pan thing um, about the North Star um, to get home or something along those lines. Home, okay. This is also home. Um, but I, I really feel like the good advice here is to be very careful with your words. Um, make sure you're coming from a place of, of love but not taking crap, okay. But there is um, some hope that you can focus on here okay so it, it's keeping in mind that oh okay I'm really um, drawing this this little connection here with that star and the star that the hermit is carrying in his lantern um, that let that hope guide you let the hope guide you home okay to stability to a stable foundation um, but mind your words okay a, whether you're going to be balanced or you're going to be a cutthroat biatch okay so um you know it's all about a well-balanced queen of swords is a wordsmith she is um kind and gentle with her words but does not take crap an unbalanced queen of swords is going to be a smack talker she's going to be a little bit more mouthy or she's gonna say things that she doesn't really mean and it's not coming from that maternal place um so it's kind of like be mindful of that okay and i'm really getting some that advice of following the following the star home i uh, there's something to do with peter pan i don't know if you know what it is <laughs> tell me in the comments please um but it's it's following that star to the stability of home okay and i feel like it's really saying follow this star okay follow this star follow the hermit go into you know go into your little cave to help yourself find that enlightenment okay um not necessarily enlightenment like in a you know woo woo sense i mean we are kind of in a woo woo like type of situation here like with tarot but 
find yourself, okay? Like the hermit goes out and, and he lives in the cave and to find himself, okay? To, to find out what he needs to know about himself. Um, and really, only you can do that. So that's what I have for advice. I hope that this resonated. Please let me know in the comments if this resonated. Give me a little subscribe there or maybe a thumbs up and uh, let me know. All right. So I will see you in the next video for your full moon reading. Thank you for watching and as always, have a blessed day.